Ad Astra. Thank you for completing today. You can always come back. Now I do want to clarify, there are multiple ways to actually do your daily commissions in Genshin. The old fashioned way and much longer route would actually be to do the actual missions, like go around the world and complete tasks for people. They can be short, they can be long, it depends. But then there's the encounter point system. The encounter point system is when you obtain these points by doing Archon quests, story quests, world quests, hangout events, actual events, opening chests, collecting special items. They all contribute to points that will fill up one of these gift boxes. One gift box is equal to one daily commission. So once you have all four, you're done for the day. Then there's the newly added long-term encounter point system, which is basically just the same thing. They just actually take those points and leave them in reserve. But also once you use 30 resin, it will basically be equal to one commission. So 30, 60, 90, 120. As long as you use 120 resin, whether you actually use that resin or condense it, your commissions will be done for the day. And that's what you saw in the beginning of the video. In Hawkeye Star Rail, doing certain things will give you a certain amount of points. So for example, logging into the game, that's a really easy one. Doing your assignments, that's another 100. So now you're at 200. Using your Trailblaze power is 200. So just doing these first three will give you 400 right there. You're only missing 100 left. I usually never do the actual daily mission for 200 anymore, but I suppose that maybe that could be quicker, possibly. These two are usually random for your own account. So I definitely broke the weakness five times in the video. And you can also use a synthesizer or do a run of Simulated Universe or a Divergent Universe. That would take a long time. So typically you'll use your trailblaze power anyways for the day. I mean, you know, you naturally would. So that's how I thought to do it. And of course that kind of does take a long time depending on what you're doing with your trailblaze power, but it can vary. I'm just showing you, you know, what the general consensus would be like for using your trailblaze power. Typically, no matter what you do with it, it's going to take a bit. Bosses are only 30, relics are only 40, planners are 40. But the big picture is you're going to be using your trailblaze power. And that's why I chose to do it that way. For Zenless, there's not much to explain. It really is just that simple. You go to your Bangboo 18, you know, your store will be ready to be open. Once again, you just pick somebody. You can actually pick the books manually or you can set recommended tapes. Open up the store and yeah, I mean, ZZZ really is, like I said, it's not much to explain with this one. It really is just that simple. And just like Star Rail, logging into the game is actually one of the missions. You can go to Hollow Zero and do a combat mission. 
or you can spend 60 battery recharge. So there are different things you can do, but pretty much it just kind of comes down to opening up your store, doing your like lottery scratch off with, with a howl here and then going to get some coffee. That's like literally like a daily thing you would do in real life <laughs> possibly. So yeah, so once again, not much to explain there. GZZ really is just that fast, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. These were all three of the games. I know there is Honkai Impact 3rd and there also is Tears of Timaeus, <laughs> but you guys can let me know how those dailies go, if there even are some. I will catch you guys in the next one.